Hello and welcome back to the Watchman on the Wall channel. Thank you as always for joining me, friend. Let's get to this word from our brother Joel Yount, Hagerstown, Maryland. You are a light to all. Many of you have been in what feels like the fight of your life. Decisions to be made. Jobs that keep you busy. Families you are raising. Ministry you're building. Keeping hope alive through it all. There has been so much going on and trying to keep an equal balance has at times been tough. As the storm around you has been raging, God has been developing you. Like a beautiful photo that goes through the process of development, there are steps to the process. One day at a time, one step at a time. You have learned not to look back. You have learned not to worry about tomorrow. You have learned to stay in the now. This has helped to break off all anxiety and depression. Knowing that you can be anchored in Christ, firm and secure, You are now trusting him on a deeper level. Jesus has gone before you. He is working all things together for your good because you love him. As you come behind the veil into a deeper place of intimacy with him, you know that your hope can be placed in him. A new song is beginning to be sung. It is coming forth from the deepest recesses of the heart. It is releasing a frequency that will travel in the spirit, allowing the truth of true freedom in Christ to resound across the land as far as the east is from the west. You now carry his glory within you. It is evident to all those around you. Continue to seek him in all things, and as you do, you will be that beacon of hope. It will touch others with words of encouragement. You are a city on a hill. You are a light to all. For the hope of glory lives inside you. Hebrews 6, 19-20 We have this hope as an anchor for our soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain, where our forerunners, Jesus, he entered on our behalf. He has become a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. When it feels like you are being tossed and thrown overboard by storms in this life, don't forget that the light within you can shine bright for others. They will see without even realizing it. You being present in a situation or an atmosphere, it carries a frequency that can bring life. You are a light to others when you least expect it. Lord Jesus, this word hits home for me. Friend, I don't know if it is the same for you, but... Lord Jesus, I pray that we would be more aware of the light that we carry. Lord, So I'm so quick to judge and criticize. Lord, I'm so quick to think of what's wrong or how I would fix something. That sometimes I forget to be present. To be present, to let my light shine, Father, without even saying a word. I thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful reminder from our brother Joel. So powerful. Lord Jesus, that we are lights. We carry your presence, your glory. I've had it happen recently. Something's different about you, Daniel. Something's different about you. Lord Jesus, I pray for a boldness in in me and my friend, Father, that we would declare the name of Jesus, that we would bring your hope, your encouragement, your will to others. Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us. In your mighty name, Jesus. Amen and amen.